Hi everyone, welcome to a little reset before 2024. This time of the year is honestly my favorite time because I love setting goals and making vision boards. But before I do any of that, I always do a huge digital declutter and physical declutter because we need to make space for better things to come. And over the year, so many things build up. We have thousands of new pictures. We follow a hundred new people. Our feeds are cluttered. Our notes app is full of things that we wanted to do. And in today's video, I'm going to be going through all of those things that built up over the year and getting rid of as many things as I can. I did not get a lot of sleep today and you can tell. <laughs> the plan for today is literally declutter everything and anything that I think of. Anywhere I see clutter, digital or physical, we're tackling it. So starting off strong with all of my files on my computer. So anything in my desktop, documents, downloads folder. It is such a mess in there. Like if I ever have to find something, it's going to take me probably 30 minutes to find it. So going through this was very needed. I also went through my Google Drive, which, oh my God, I have not looked at that in like three years. So going through all of that was very, very useful. And I also started going through my camera roll a little bit just because I thought I would start putting it in between different tasks just because there were so much things to work through in the camera roll i think that's probably the hardest part for me and a lot of people so if you are doing a declutter i would recommend to just take it like little steps at a time okay now that i cleared through all my computer files like documents desktop downloads everything i'm gonna do a little computer scan with clean my mac i only downloaded this recently but i honestly quite like it i don't know how useful it is but i have moments where my computer runs very very slow and then i'll do a scan and i'll delete all the like cash and it just starts working a lot quicker so i don't use this often but tis the time to use it to just make sure all those files are like really gone okay moving on to our next big task which is my notes app there is so much in here i wanted to go through every single one of my notes and anything that i need to keep as information but doesn't have to be in my notes i transferred to notion and after i did all that i started going through my notion and just cleaning it up deleting any pages i don't use now i'm gonna have a whole separate day just to go through every single notion page and see what page i'm actually using what i'm not using but for now this is kind of like a starter notion declutter i then moved back to my camera roll because honestly that is the one thing that is always overwhelming me when i do these declutters and as i was deleting the pictures i decided to listen to a class i've been taking on skillshare skillshare is actually the sponsor of today's video and if you haven't heard me talk about it before it is an online learning community with a very very wide variety of classes ranging from animation to marketing to e-commerce to graphic design there is a lot on there anything you want to learn you will find so if you're thinking of starting a side hustle this new year year or maybe picking up a new hobby or upskilling for your career skillshare is the perfect place to start because it has thousands of engaging classes to choose from and the classes are led by industry pros who are passionate about sharing what they know and there's also a little active community of members rooting for each other as you're taking the class together the class i'm taking at the moment is called reach your goals seven personal development exercises to build a life you love because as i said earlier i love goal setting but i'm not really good at prioritizing which goals to focus on so i'm kind of prepping myself before the beginning of this new year and honestly i love the classes because they're broken down into little bite-sized classes so it's very comfortable to watch a class or two as you're getting ready to go somewhere or if you only have a couple of minutes of time so if you're thinking of joining skillshare there will be a link in the description and the first 500 people to use that link will get one month free trial of skillshare okay tis the time to go through people i follow and unfollow as many as i can or mute them i'm already quite picky with this list but even though i'm following around 50 people i have like 40 people muted so i always go back through this list and i kind of look over it again and i'm like okay do i actually want to follow this person should i unmute them should i mute them looking over this list so basically there's not going to be big changes today because i basically do this every month already but what i would highly highly recommend for any person is to actually use the mute button because a lot of people don't want to unfollow like their friends from uni or from high school or some colleague or like some distant family member of course it's normal that you're not going to want to unfollow them but also do you need to see all their things you know like you are allowed to be selective with what you see and the more information that goes in your brain the more scattered and overwhelmed you feel and we're not meant to see what every single person does every single day like that's just not how 
were built so i'm gonna go through my feed and anyone that i'm following that i'm like okay i don't need to be seeing their stuff right now i'm gonna mute them or unfollow them and then since i was on instagram anyway i decided to go through all the things that i have saved so i actually use my saved collections quite a lot both on instagram and on tiktok and i look back at them very frequently so i went through literally everything i had saved made sure all the collections made sense unsaved anything i didn't need anymore and then i also deleted some apps off of my phone basically anything that i haven't used in the last couple of months or i'm not planning to use and i also fixed my home screen a little bit i didn't do too many changes because i'm basically trying to keep it as simple as possible but also having every app i use every day on the main screen and then i headed off to my first ever nail standing class which is incredibly random but it was a really nice decluttering break i've heard of nail standing before but it was always something that kind of scared me but when my friend offered to go i was like yes let's go together together is always easier and i'm so glad we went it was a very interesting experience it was very painful but it was an amazing emotional release i cried so much we did it we did it for 40 plus minutes 40 plus that minutes. is insane, that is insane. It's and blowing. it's both of our first times we're definitely still feeling our feet yeah, yeah. oh yeah they feel interesting and the little needle marks are there we are ready to eat Yay! so we just went to get some lunch in this cafe and talked about our experience and if we would like to do something like that again okay i just got home shower and changed and we are gonna start our physical declutter now this is like my favorite part <laughs> So basically what you see right here is most of what I own in life. I only own like two suitcases worth of things because I'm kind of in my digital nomad era and I literally don't own anything else in life. So you would think, Anna, how much more physical decluttering can you do? You already don't own much. But I honestly don't wear more than half of these clothes. And at this point, packing and unpacking is getting so tiring. And next year is going to be a lot more travel busy than this year. So I'm like, it's time to really get rid of the things that I don't wear. And also there's a couple of things I can think of right now that I've just been carrying around with me for months and I never use them. For example, this massage ball. It's heavy, first of all, but I carry it around with me because I bought it to like massage my back, but I never, ever, ever use it. So I'm gonna look it up, all the things you can do with it and if it's actually really worth keeping around because this, this is definitely pretty heavy. <laughs> Today we're being harsh, but it's good. Like I said, the physical declutter is my favorite because you can literally physically see the progress that you're making and the things you're getting rid of. The way I go about it is I always do two different piles. One is a definitely yes, and one is a maybe once i have everything in my maybe pile then i start considering whether i want to keep something or get rid of it so because i've already cut down my wardrobe quite a lot it gets very difficult to decide what to get rid of but first i check for any quality issues i make sure everything still fits and i try to just be honest with myself with what i actually wear and what i don't wear some things i might not wear because it's seasonal but that's why you got to be honest with yourself and be like am i not wearing this because it's seasonal or am i just not wearing this the decision making process takes up so much of my energy though so i literally had a little camera roll cleaning break in the middle basically i had quite a lot of things piling up in my maybe pile which really surprised me because the last time i did this declutter was about a month ago and i only had like five maybes but i truly think at the end of the year i'm more committed to getting rid of as many things as possible i was very proud with all the things in my maybe pile and then i started going through the rest of my stuff so for example i checked if any makeup was expired i went through some of my jewelry I spent like five minutes deciding on which water bottle I preferred and then I remembered I had more stuff in another suitcase that I didn't use as often so I was like probably the stuff that is in there I could probably get rid of majority of it because if it's already packed away then I probably don't need it <laughs> and just like I thought I had so many more things to add into my maybe pile from that suitcase Okay, so everything on my bed right now, apart from my laptop, are things that were not a definite yes, but things that are kind of like in the maybe section. And honestly, as I was putting them in the maybe section, I was like, I'm ready to part with this. I think this is going to be my biggest declutter in the past year for sure. Like, of course, when I was moving out, I got rid of the most things. I usually do like a little monthly declutter, but I get rid of like two things. I think we're going to get rid of a lot today. Let me tell you which ones are my biggest dilemmas. <laughs> Dilemma number one 
this bamboo hairbrush. I never ever ever use this hairbrush, but I've always heard that bamboo hairbrushes are really good for your scalp, so I keep wanting to use it, but I never end up using it. Maybe I'll give it like a trial month because in a month I'm moving out of this place and I'm gonna have to pack up everything again, so maybe, maybe I'll have a little pile for my trial things and we're gonna see if I use them in the month and if I don't, I have to get rid of them. Next dilemma and probably my biggest dilemma are these two water bottles. Basically, I bought these two water bottles on the same day because I initially bought this black water bottle because I did not have any water bottle. But when I bought this black bottle, I was like, oh my God, I really want a white bottle. Why don't they have like a version of this in white? I go to another shop literally five minutes later and I see this one. I don't buy a lot of things, but with the water bottles, I don't know. I was in some kind of mood. I was like, I need two. I don't care. I need both. And now I'm struggling because they're both kind of my babies, but they're both really heavy and like metal. And I don't need two water bottles. Like I really don't. When I'm living out of two suitcases, I don't need two different water bottles. So basically I do have a clear winner. Like I know that if I had to keep one, I would keep this one just because I was specifically looking for a white water bottle. But this one, like I don't want to get rid of it. It just brings me good memories. And it says Uluwatu Bali, which is the little, the area of Bali that I lived in initially. But also like it says good vibes which I don't love. So I think this is also gonna have a trial month. I'm gonna think about this for a month because if I have to, at the end of the day, choose one, I'll choose this one. But this is also my baby and he's new. Also disclaimer, like I'm not gonna be throwing out any of these things. I'm gonna ask my friends if they want anything. And if not, I'll find a way to donate it. Dilemma number three, <laughs> this is the dumbest dilemma. Basically these two hairbrushes, they kind of serve the same purpose with the little thing. It's like to do your part, you know, if you want to do like a side part or a middle part, whatever. But they're very different. Obviously, this is like a very fine comb. And this is for like when you have wet hair or I don't know, just it's a wide comb. But I don't need two, but I just don't know which one I need more. Because I feel like I do need two, but I never use this one. I never use this one. But there's like very, very rare times when you need it, you know. But if that was my excuse for everything, then I would keep everything. So I don't know. Also, this ring, I'm so sad about it. This used to be my like everyday ring. I used to wear it everywhere. But apparently my fingers lost weight because now it's so big on every single one of my fingers. But I don't want to get rid of it. But like there's absolutely no point in me owning this. Anyway, that's my dilemmas for the day. We're now going to try on some clothes and make some difficult decisions. Oh, and actually one last dilemma are these trousers because I love these trousers. Like they bring me so much happiness, but I really don't see myself wearing them anywhere else apart from Bali. And I'm just like, once I leave Bali, where am I going to wear them? I'm just going to bring them around with me for months, not wearing them. I don't know. I guess while I'm in Bali, it's a keep, but I want to decide whether I want to keep them when I leave Bali. This is by far by far the most I've gotten rid of in months. So I'm gonna put it in my suitcase right now and right before I move out of this place, I'm gonna get rid of everything, but I basically just wanna put it away for a month, see if I miss anything, like this water bottle. I wanna see if I really miss it or this hairbrush. I decided to switch to the bamboo because it's better for you. It is better for you. And actually we have two more things right here that I'm gonna get rid of once I move out. It's just that right now I have no other pair of jeans, but these jeans are too big on me right now. So I need new ones, but I also, am, I know I'm not going to buy new ones before I move out. So these two things are also technically included in this pile, but I am going to wear them for the next month. I am so proud of myself. <laughs> And then for my final decluttering part of the day, I wanted to do a little bit more digital decluttering. So I went through my Spotify, I went through artists I followed, my playlists, songs I have liked. And then I moved on to Goodreads, which was a very random declutter. I have never decluttered my Goodreads, but I had like a list of 300 books I wanted to read. And I went through that list and I did not want to read over half of those books anymore. So I completely cut down that list. And then I went on to YouTube. I unsubscribed from some people. I removed videos from my watch later. And then I ended the night with, again, some more camera roll decluttering. The camera roll decluttering feels endless, but one day at a time. Okay, it is very much time for me to sleep. I feel like a new person. Like, I feel like I have more mental space for some reason. Because it's just like I cleared up so many things, I got rid of so much And whenever you let go of something, you make space for the new things So I'm feeling good, feeling excited But decluttering is only the first process I still have to figure out my goals and 
all of that so all those videos are going to be coming this is just the beginning i'm just like first making space you know like mental space digital space physical space we're gonna start the visualizing process with a clear mind so keep a keep a lookout anyway today was a good day i'm gonna go to sleep and i'll see you next time